there's this weirdness between Heather. I feel like I'm chasing her down. You haven't been chasing me down. You don't even know anything that's going on in my life. You don't even know how I got my black eye, so. Well, I want to know this. Do you really not remember? Because you've said, I don't remember. You don't want to talk about it. You've said you've been assaulted. You've said if someone knocks on your door at 4 a.m., <laughs> don't answer the door. Why are you laughing? Because it's all it's all just funny to me and true and part of the mystery of the eye. Did someone do that to you? Maybe we need to know! Straight off the slopes and into the spotlight, Heather Gay is famous for speaking the gospel truth. Born and bred to be a devout Mormon, Heather based her life around her faith. And get ready for it. In her first memoir called Bad Mormon, she exposes the secrets she once held sacred. Joining us now, why she finally got here, is the star <laughs> of Bravo's The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City and the founder of Beauty Lab and Laser. Please welcome Heather Gay! Yay! So many yeah. super fans here, including us two, oh, of all yes. the Housewives franchises. I know. Really? Such a great, honestly, you such guys. a great one. You're a, a fairly new franchise. Yes. But right away, you get right into it. Yeah. Um, so we'll get right into it now, just because it's the top of the news. Absolutely. The news chain. Uh, so Jen Shaw, we know recently, as a good friend of yours, sentenced to six and a half years in prison. Yeah. Um, uh, how did that news resonate with you and the rest of the cast? It must have been just I so mean, tough. It was so shocking. The whole experience was overwhelming. And then for it to finally just have a verdict, have her plead guilty, it really changed everything. And now that she's got this sentence, we're just hoping she can, you know, be accountable, make right to the victims. And there seems to be a lot of restitution that she's going to have to do. And that's a process that we're glad it's getting started now, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, we do have to ask you about uh, Black Eye Gate because yeah. there was so much going on. People were coming at you. What is it? Was it this? Was it that? So what do you want to say in terms of what you know up until this point now? Has you there know, been any more footage that surfaced or any answers? No, I mean, you can watch the reunion on Hey You and see that there's a little bit of light that it's exposed to it. But the truth is I blacked out. I don't know how I got it. And we assumed that the footage would reveal it. And I was told there was footage. But I played coy because the narrative kept shifting and changing. And I felt like they were going to try to blame somebody or blame something. And if there was footage, the footage always tells the truth, right? Reality television okay. sees through everything. That's so. true. I'm clumsy. I had to wear an <laughs> eye patch. I'm not kidding. And I swear I thought it was that plant. There was a plant in your room in San Diego. And I'm like, it was the plant. I, I mean, it's there the plant. But I woke up in my bed safely oh, in my that's pajamas. True. That's Did you true. feel it? You, you, no, you I hit it? my head on a cabinet a thousand times brushing my teeth because yeah, there was a low cabinet. Yeah. But... Never to the point where I would have a black eye like that. So maybe I wasn't feeling any pain. I brushed my teeth. I went to bed and woke up with it. And Thank goodness you healed beautifully as we see you right I now. Know. My God, looks great. Ago. Looks great. <laughs> Still, though. Let's Thank get goodness. to the book now, Bad yeah. Norman. So you said that it was exciting and terrifying all at once to write this. What made you decide to actually go ahead and put this memoir together? I mean, the first thing is I had the opportunity, right? Nobody was asking about my story before I was a housewife. And once I knew I had the chance, it was my opportunity to put pen to paper to my story in a way that would be truthful. And I'm leaving generations of Mormons, I mean, oxcart pioneers that have been persevering and like preserving this faith and teaching it to their children. So if I was gonna break the chain for my daughters, I wanted to make sure that they knew my story and my perspective. And it was scary to reveal a lot of the secrets, but I told it from my perspective and I tried to honor my story and my experience, even though I knew it would be upsetting to a lot of people. I was going to say, it's also very terrifying, which you talk about in the reunion, which people can watch on Hey You. Um, there's a little tease as to the second part of the reunion where you say there's litigation happening. Yes, they're yeah. suing me for use of the word Mormon. Oh, so the wow. trademark, we're in litigation and they're fighting it. I mean, they don't want negative information out about the church and they're really powerful and really um, wealthy, but I also think that the truth will stand and I think that we'll win. So we're going to fight it to the end. Keep going for sure. Yeah. Wow, that is incredible. And must be, uh, yeah, just very terrifying having to be ahead of that. But you're setting a great example for your daughters. Hopefully. Um, as a businesswoman, <laughs> as a mom, yeah. It's it's incredible for sure. They're what I do everything for, so it's important to yeah. me. There was a lot of broken rela relationships, tested relationships this season. What are you thinking at this point that makes a good friend, especially in a show like this? It's a fishbowl for all of us, but it's very real for you. Yeah. People think it's scripted and everything. It's not, and you see 
see it come to yeah. life. Like it is, you're in it's the moment real, with yeah. very different personalities. And these are real friendships, yeah. yeah. So what are you hoping to see more of? Yeah, I'm season. hoping to see more real friendships and reconciliation and mending, but reality television does change relationships, and so I'm not sure how that's going to play out, mm. but I know it's been hard to watch, and it's been hard to experience. All right. Yeah. Now, I, I was telling you earlier, like, the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, one of the newer ones, let's say, in, you know, in your third season, it was one of those ones where you start watching, and right away, you're gripped. Like, I was in there, I'm watching. If there was another franchise that you could be a part of, which one would it be? I, I mean, I got to say New York. You know, yeah. your neighbors to the South. Like, I just, I love the New York ladies. They're kind of OGs. They tell it like it is. I ha I just have an affection for all of them. So I would love to be a part of New York. Well, you never know. It yeah, might you never know. <laughs> and I feel like with your energy, you could also be in Atlanta. Like, Ooh, I feel like that is a compliment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that I is. hung out with um, some of the Atlanta wives. They're all so amazing yeah. and powerful. I would love it. Well, yeah. it becomes a family, right? You all yeah. see each it's other. It's a sorority, you know? Yes. How do you like Toronto so far? I love Toronto. Yay. I love it. I went shopping. I, it's been so fun. I love Canada. I have, like, I don't know why. There's a lot of Mormons in Canada. Okay. So I just love And I know it's like everything's sold out. Anything in Toronto, it's like selling out like this. But guess what? You can pre-order. Your book comes out February 7th, February 7th. Right? Pre-orders are so important to a first-time author. So yes. if you're even thinking thinking of reading it, pre-order it, because it makes a huge difference. Bad Mormon, great interview. Thanks, Heather. <laughs> the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City Reunion Part 1 airs tonight on Hey You! And, of course, grab that copy, Bad Mormon, February 7th. And thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Thanks for having me. I appreciate season. it. Thank so you nice so much, Heather. You. you too. We'll oh, be back you. with more BT this Friday.